Dr. Wafil Rao, Karnataka, in fact, is currently experiencing a political standoff between the ruling Congress party and the BJP, sparked by eviction notices allegedly issued by the WAF board against farmers in Vijaypura. Now, the BJP claims that similar notices have been issued to farmers in Kalaburgi, Bidar and Shivamoga, accusing the government of classifying their land as WAF property. Transaction is banned. Now, former Karnataka CM Baswaraj Bumai has also criticized the ruling government. Meanwhile, Chief Minister Siddharamaya has instructed officials to halt any evictions of farmers. He's also directed the Revenue Department to retract the notices issued to farmers across the affected districts. You have to give notices, right? You have to do a survey, right? You just can't go and uh, grab the land, even if you're the government. See, the JPC is also a political motivated uh, committee. You know what is happening there. See, there is uh, uh, there's a constitution of uh, India that is still alive. Why are these people jumping the gun? Why can't they just follow the law of the land? These acts have been done by them. They have been fostered by them, nurtured by them. In the last 11 years, what have they done? Tell me. Nothing. And now they just want to uh, play politics with it when there is an election in Maharashtra, there is a by-election in Karnataka, and there is one in Jharkhand. That's all. Uh, what prevented them from doing all these uh, course correction, if at all there were some mistakes, over the last 11 years? CM knows the WAF law very well. He is trying to distract the worth of the farmers, time being, for the by-election sake. Therefore, if CM is really interested in the welfare of the farmer and security of the farmer's land, he should cancel, withdraw the gadget notification on, on the basis which this notification notices are issued. <laughs> Unless until that is done, there will be a sword hanging on the farmers forever and there will be unrest. Imran, coming to you as far as this is concerned, what we're given to understand is that the BJP is set to be protesting this today. But with Chief Minister Siddharamaya reacting, he says that, uh, you know, in his capacity, these notices have been asked to have uh, been retracted. But at the same point of time, he believes that the BJP is only looking at at, uh, you know, a political interest over here, whereas the BJP says this is appeasement politics ahead of Karnataka bipoles. What are we given to understand? Well, yes, Chief Minister, he thought that the BJP's uh, protest call for today. Yesterday, he tweeted uh, uh, targeting BJP that uh, the BJP uh, has no interest in the farmers. In fact, this, uh, the true nature is to stroke communal strife for political gain. Is what the Chief Minister uh, tweeted at BJP. He also asked to call... Uh, of Karnataka to reject his divisive, destructive agenda to building a Karnataka. He called protest utterly uh, a, a communal agenda uh, looking at the bypass which are happening in the state. He said that he's already called, uh, asked of, uh, respective officials to uh, to take back the notices issued to farmers. Even after this, the BJP is going ahead with this protest. Their whole agenda is to uh, strike communal, uh, uh, is to stoke communal fears and uh, for political gains, is what the chief minister t tweeted. Whereas the BJP is saying that this is uh, a last-minute effort by the chief minister. Why were the notices issued earlier? And uh, they're saying that this is nothing but an attempt on the part of the WAF department to grab lands and they are uh, going to protest against it and ask the unilateral government to take back all the notices issued to the farmers or otherwise. They, over this, they call for a statewide protest. Right, Imran. Thank you very much for getting us that overall perspective and also that reaction as to how, politically speaking, of course, it is intensifying. But for the moment, we leave it at that. Let's now show.